Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Applied Multivariate Analysis using our software. And we're in Chapter 10, part of this playlist that I'm calling Cluster Analysis. And let's jump to today's topic, which is hierarchical clustering using Wald's linkage method. Okay, so Wald's method is the incremental sum, but uh, sum of squares method. It, it uses the within cluster distances and the between cluster distances. Now, if A and B are the clusters to be obtained from clusters A and B, then the sum of within cluster distances of the items from the cluster vectors are this. Okay, so the sum of squares within for cluster A is this. The sum of squares within or air is B. And then the sum of squares air for the joined clusters A and B. Now, I like to think of this, and it's not accurate. But this, you know, think of drawing a circle around the circumference of the cluster or a ball. And that's kind of what this number represents. And when we join, you know, so each of them separate has their own sum of squares, you know, within. And then when we join them, it gets a little bit bigger. And so the Wald's method of joins two clusters A and B that minimizes the increase in the sum of squares, you know, within cluster distances, right? So we're joining, like, cluster A and cluster B have their own little sum of squares within, but then when we join it, with an, when we join those two clusters, they get a little bit bigger, the sum of squares within. So, and we want to minimize that increase of what gets bigger, and that's actually what the Wald's method does, it minimize that increase. Now, this is how I visualize it, but it can be shown that it's a weighted um, between clusters distances. You can show that, that IAB is actually equal to this. So you can think of it in either way. We're minimizing or we're, we're joining two clusters that has the minimum between cluster distances, of course, weighted by their sample sizes or their, you know, the number of elements in each in each cluster. So let's illustrate this using R and the data is from an FTP site here and we're using city crime data and we're looking at murder, rape, robbery, assault, burglary, larceny, auto theft in these various cities and we want to cluster these observations based upon those continuous variables. So H Clust, the hierarchical clustering is the function in R that does this, and you have to pass it a distance matrix. Now, notice we remove the first column, which is city, because it's not continuous, and we're only considering continuous variables in this playlist. And we say method ward. Now, there's a method ward dot D and a method ward dot D2, and D2 is the historical. You know, it's accurate for. Ward 2 when it was first invented in, I think, 1963. So all that information is stored in a variable which we call HC Ward. HC is hierarchical clustering. Ward is, of course, the method we use. Now, part of that information is what's called a merge matrix. It tells us the order at which clusters are combined. A negative value means it's an observation. A positive value means it's a cluster. So in step one, observation one and 15 were combined. Step two, observation nine and 10. Step three, observation six and 16 were combined. In step four, observation seven and the cluster created in step one are combined. Step five, observation four, and then the cluster created in step two are combined and then so forth. Now, if, you, if we look at step 15, the cluster created in step 12 is combined with the cluster created in 14. And then that ends it because we have just one cluster left. Now, to plot the data, we just say plot and then HC ward. And it knows how to create this dendrogram. The rec.hclust creates these pretty little boxes or rectangles around the dendrogram indicating how many clusters you want. So I put K equals four, so I want to highlight four clusters. And 
here is the plot, the dendrogram, using hierarchical clustered, using Ward's method, and then I wanted to highlight four clusters. And what that means, is it goes down this Euclidean distance axis until you can draw a horizontal line and then four clusters pop out. You know, you can tell it to create five or six or two or <clears throat> you get to pick. But this is it. This, these are the cluster results from hierarchical clustering using Wald's method. Now, in so far, the previous two or three videos, we've looked at several different hierarchical clustering methods. And let's kind of compare them. So here we use city crime data from the FTP site in all these comparisons. And we're going to compare um, Ward's method, the single linkage, which is nearest neighbor, the complete linkage, which is the farthest neighbor, and the average methods. And then we're just going to create uh, little you know, clusters of four in each of these just to see the differences. Okay, so I can only fit two on, a screen, as, on the screen at a time. And so these are the clusterings between the single linkage and the Ward method. And notice that the clusters are quite different. Then if we look at the clustering from the complete linkage, which is the farthest neighbor and the average linkage, um, there's some similarities like LA and New York are clustered together, but the other clusters are a little bit different. Yep. Okay, well, that's all I have for this video. In the next video, we will look at the K-means clustering algorithm. So I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.